This week on HomeKit News, the Zemi Smart Roller Shade Driver with Zigbee. So we're taking a look at our second device courtesy of Zemi Smart, which in this case is a roller shade driver in a rather plain box. You can see the product on the front and the model number if needed, so let's see what's inside. The device works with HomeKit via the Zemi Smart Hub and you can see the motor looks quite similar to the Akara E1 which isn't a surprise as both are actually off the shelf designs used by many companies. There's a reasonably long power cable provided for recharging the internal battery and three extra cogs in addition to the one already on the motor. You get some screws to mount the device to a wall and finally onto the optional extra which I've already found rather handy namely a dedicated remote control. This remote relies on a standard coin battery and connects directly to the motor itself with the buttons corresponding with the ones on the motor. To go with the remote you get a wall plate with an adhesive backing with the plate using a magnet to hold the remote in place when not in use. Let's now have a more detailed look at all the contents of the box starting with the motor which is 7.1 inches tall, 1.7 inches wide and just 1.57 inches deep. The power cable uses a coaxial or barrel connector to recharge the internal battery and the other cogs are for different types of pull cords including ones without beads. Onto the aforementioned remote which uses RF433 MHz to connect to the motor along with a wall plate for the motor itself that attaches to the wall using the provided screws and roll plugs. For the installation I've already attached the plate to the wall as seen here so I only have to connect the motor to the plate whilst attaching the pull cord to the cog on the motor. It's all quite easy although you do need to make sure there's enough tension in the cord otherwise the cord will just slip. I just need to cover the cog up for safety and we're ready. In my test I found it best to set up the upper and lower limits for the blinds before adding them to my smart home which I'm summarizing here as the instructions I was sent didn't exactly correspond with what was needed. Feel free to pause the video at this point. So with the blinds set up physically and the upper and lower limits set I'll just quickly demonstrate the motor in action by pressing the down button. It's clearly very straightforward to control and as you can see here the cog inside pulls on the beaded cord to open or close the blinds. There's nothing especially remarkable about it but it works just as expected. Moving on to installation and to get the motor into HomeKit you first have to pair it with the Zemi Smart Hub using the Toya Smart app. Just click on the plus icon, select small home appliances, then select curtain Zigbee, which is a little bit confusing. You then select your hub for pairing and follow the on-screen instructions so that the motor can be found. Once added, it will instantly be exposed to HomeKit. Here's the tile for the blinds in the home app, and if you tap on the tile, the blinds immediately begin to close as expected. Although unlike some blinds, the open and close percentage is shown on the tile which is sort of interesting. I'm not sure it's of much use however. A long press on the tile reveals the slider control for the blinds as well as settings. Unfortunately battery life and obstruction detection aren't shown which is a little bit of a negative. Next up is a quick noise test and whilst it's not as quiet as the Akara E1 it's still pretty good. I'll now demonstrate the speed of the motor and although speed is one important consideration I would argue that noise levels are of more importance overall but that's just me. As you can see from the information at the top of the screen the motor takes roughly 43 seconds to fully close or open covering a 130 centimeter drop. As you can also see from the data at the top of the screen this is the slowest motor I've tested so far behind the Akara E1 and the Soma Smart Shades 2 both of which are retrofit devices like this one. Although it's relatively slow, for my elderly mother-in-law this is more than adequate. I think you get the idea here so I'll move on to remote operation. The optional RF remote is the most direct connection obviously which I'll demonstrate here but for the sake of testing I'll compare it to two other different smart buttons as well. Next is the Zemi Smart wireless button programmed in the Toya app so no HomeKit framework to pass through in this case. And lastly I'm using an Akara mini wireless switch programmed in HomeKit. As you can probably see the speed difference is negligible. So what do I think of the Zemi Smart roller shade motor? As this is in many ways the same as the Akara E1 which I like a lot it stands to reason I'd like this too. 
The difference here is that the hub that it requires isn't region restricted, so you can use this motor anywhere with the hub. It's quiet enough that it's not going to bother most people, and I'd say even a moderately light sleeper would probably not be woken by the sound of the motor. Even though the remote is an optional extra, I do like that it can directly control the blinds regardless of the state of your smart home, which is a sort of a failsafe. I like Zigbee for its speed and reliability, and so this device ticks all the boxes in these regards, and as it's quite reasonably priced, is great for those on a budget. The only negative is that there's no indication of battery life, which means you probably only know that it needs charging when it stops working, which is not so great. Other than that, this can easily give the Akara E1 a run for its money. So that's our take on the Zemi Smart Roller Shade motor. But for a more detailed look, click on the link for the written review. Until the next time, stay safe and don't feed the trolls.